Welcome to a mind for life. The cosmology of being, we are in the trichotomy of identity today. Now today we're talking about the conditioned body. Finally, the conditioned body. All right, let me say this before I get into that. A mind for life is here offering spiritual, philosophical technology so that you can live your truth. This is not a dogmatic channel. I'm not a guru. You be your own guru. There is a God, but you're responsible for changing your life. You're responsible for becoming all that you can be, for having a fulfilled life. Okay, A mind for life is here to help you to do that. It's an assistance. Now, let's say this. Let's get into the, you are a construct. You are a construct. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that, but I want you to, I want to put that right here. You are a construct. Everything you're experiencing is a construct. It's not in your mind, it's, but it's a construct. It's not in your mind. Let's pick up with the last video a little bit. At the end of the last video, we talked about refractivity of mind. We talked about how mind refracts with each aspect of your universe, which is what we are feelizing and realizing on this channel. All right. We talked about how mind refracts with the I am self as reflection. We talked about how mind refracts with the plastic mind as memory. Today, we're in a trichotomy of identity. Mind refracts with the inspired self as current. And I'm going to stick with this for a second. Mind refracts. That is, it splits up into component frequencies. It's the component frequency that it splits into with relationship to the I am self is current. Current is not something you can see. Current is thought. We look at the water and we see it moving and we say, look at the current. You're not seeing the current. <laughs> you are not seeing the current. When you look at water move or you wind, you're not feeling the current. Current is a measurement. Current is an abstraction. It is thought. In electricity, the measurement of electrons that flow is the current, right? But it's measured in amps. When you're talking about the flow of electrons, you're not talking about the flow of water in the same way or the current of water. So that means that we're talking about something else. We're talking about a thought. So current is thought. Your inspired self, as we talked about in that video, your inspired self, it has two aspects. It's your drive. It's your light drive, your life force. It's the difference between a body that is alive and a body that is dead with all the same faculties. It's the difference. One has a spark. Things turn on. One does not have that spark anymore. That light drive, that life force. Your inspired self also is the medium by which thought forms from the plastic mind come into the trichotomy. All right. So it's the medium by which thought forms flow into your awareness, the trichotomy of identity. So I want to touch on that with the inspired self, because that's an important aspect that we're going to be talking about. The conditioned body. You are a construct. You are a construct. Let's get into this. The conditioned body. Two aspects. Two things about this. One, the conditioned body is an aggregate. That is, it's a combination thing. A combination thing. What is it of? The Conditioned body is the combination of the inspired self and the physical self. Physical self plus inspired self equal conditioned body. You can write that down. Physical self plus inspired self equal the conditioned body. That's the morphology of it. That's the structure of it. That's what it is. 
It is the result of the coming together of the inspired self with its light drive and its information and the physical body. The brain, five senses, arms, toes, legs, etc., mouth, ears. Now, with this conditioned body being the result of this, it forms an ecology, an interrelated, interdependent system that gives it its own identity. So what I'm trying to say is you can't separate hydrogen and oxygen and talk about water. You can talk about hydrogen, you can talk about oxygen, but you can't talk about water unless we're talking about H2O. That is water is the result of hydrogen and oxygen coming together and and inclusivity is its own thing. It's its own thing. Right? If you're talking about looking at a wild animal and want to understand it, you can't bring it into a cage. You can't bring the wild animal into a cage and understand it as a wild animal. Your understanding of it in that kind of context is purely an intellectual, sterilized, abstracted understanding. And I'm getting at a point here. The conditioned body is the result of two things, and it's its own thing at the same time. That's what it is. Now, the second aspect of a conditioned body is this. The conditioned body is a construct. It's a construct, meaning that it is not immutable. It is not unchangeable. It is the result of thought forms that are coming through the inspired self, interacting with the physical self to give us our awareness. Our awareness happens at the conditioned body. The constructs are what you believe. The constructs are your paradigms. The constructs are your beliefs. The constructs are your goals. The constructs are what you see, hear, taste, touch, smell, etc. The constructs are what you think. Those are all constructs. They come as a result of this union. It's a construct based upon thought forms and physicality and drive or life force. That's what the construct is. So the conditioned body is an aggregate and is also a construct. Now, when I say you are a construct, I'm not trying to be funny. You are a construct. Anything you think about yourself is changeable. It's not absolute. Even your physical self, when you go and look in the mirror and you say, okay, I see my shape, the shape of my ear is this, that's a construct. Doesn't mean that there is not something there that we are building this construct around. There is. We are not talking about reality being in the mind and there's nothing out here, it's all in the mind. Not so. That's idealism. That's a very old idea that's been rehashed today. No, there is other reality besides me. If there wasn't, I couldn't have anything to build a construct around. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's good news. It's good news that your idea of who you are can change. It's good news that your idea of who they are can change. It's good news that those fears that you had don't have to be fears anymore. That is the beauty of it being a construct. We're looking for something absolute here in our awareness, but there is none. Our awareness is operating just here. Mind refracts with the conditioned body as awareness. Mind refracts with the conditioned body as awareness. This is where you are aware that you like this. This is where you are aware that it's hot outside. This is where you are aware that 
you know, your heart is beating. This is where you are aware. You have hands. This is your awareness is happening here. Thought is, is becoming aware to you here. But remember, thought is any movement of inner mind conscious awareness. So it doesn't have to it doesn't have to depend on your awareness. But this is where your awareness of thought is. So the conditioned body is a construct. Beliefs can change. Paradigms can change. The physical body as it is this in this aggregate can change. And I'm not just talking about change in terms of let me work out. Let me lose weight, gain weight, whatever. I'm talking about changes as physio physiological functions as well at a core level. The plastic, the, 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 the physical body is plastic. The physical self is plastic. It is malleable because it is a construct. What you see in the mirror is not absolutely the way it is even though you may think it so strongly it's just a construct okay so to review the conditioned body is two things it's an aggregate and it's a construct the aggregate is the ecology of it the aggregate is the interaction between the inspired self and the physical self, that interaction creates the conditioned body. It's an ecology. It's an aggregate. And mind refracts with the physical self as matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. Okay? The second thing that the conditioned body is, the conditioned body is a construct. It is changeable. It is the result of just thought forms, drive, and physical physicality. It can change. And we'll get into this later, okay? The plastic mind has the thought forms, impressions in it. Now, it's not just that there's God, there's an I am self that imprints on the plastic mind and it goes. No, they're outer forces, okay? We're going to get into that later, but there's a, a bit more to this than just that one direction because we do have out of forces plus that can be good or not good. That can serve us or not serve us. Once something gets attached to your drive, oh man, it's, it's, have you ever had a drive for something that wasn't good for you or you had a paradigm that kept you in that same scenario? Different, pla different places, different phases, but the same thing over and over again. So we're going to get into that later. So let's just end this video up with the conditioned body. And once again, so let's talk about before I end this, let's just kind of review this refractivity because it's going through. Mind refracts, and we talked about that before, into different shades. The shades or frequencies are thought. That's the energy, this thought energy that mind refracts into within your universe. Okay? And remember wavelength and frequency are just ways to measure that. Mind refracts with in relationship to your I am self as reflection. It refracts into with respect to your plastic mind as memory. Now we know that it refracts in relationship to your inspired self as current and we understand that current is thought it refracts with your physical self as matter matter is also intelligence that's another video but matter is also intelligence and we can see that in the scientific community now how particles change and they interact and mind refracts in relationship to the conditioned body as awareness all right, so I want to touch base on that again. So we have a, a fan of different colors here that we're, um, that we're experiencing or, or realizing here. Okay, so that's the end of this video on the conditioned body. Thank you for coming. A mindful life. Peace out.